My lady. I'm glad you are here. We must convince the war chief to pursue an allegiance with the Nightborn. The list. Let's see. The Lystra's estate. Regent Lord Theron invited the Nightborn to join him in Silvermoon City. First, we must inform them of the invitation. I prefer to do such things in person. Please, come with me to Suramar and meet with Lady Thalystra. Remain vigilant. The Regent Lord invited the Nightborn to Silvermoon. I am to travel to Suramar and escort Lady Thalystra to the meeting. I am counting on you both. Do not return until Suramar's strength is pledged to the Horde. As you command, War Chief. I will meet you at Lady Thalystra's estate in Suramar, Champion. Meet you there, my dear. Hi, hello. Hello, people. We're here to talk about being friends. Hello, girls. Let's get a photo op here. Okay. The city of Suramar is beautiful to behold. I hope Silvermoon City is not a disappointment to them. <laughs> yeah, Suramar is pretty splendiferous by all elf standards. Yes! All the yes! And yeah, the alliance is very... The goody two-shoes club. <laughs> Silver Moon City. The Nightborn have been isolated from the world for thousands of years. Now that they have re-emerged, it is up to us to guide them along the right path. Regent Lord Theron has extended an invitation to the Nightborn to meet with us in Silver Moon. Come, let us travel to Silvermoon with Thalysra. Happily! Well, I am sure the Regent Lord will be pleased to learn of your interest. Are you ready to depart? It would be an honor, Lady Liadrin. Oculith has the coordinates to your capital. I will gather Silgrim and Valtois and meet you in Silvermoon. Most welcome. As you can see, we have an unexpected visitor. Hello again, Liadrin. Champion. Rothamar, 
I'm here concerning a matter that may be best addressed in private. I see no need to keep secrets from allies, Illyria. In fact, some new friends of ours are just arriving. Well, hello, Illyria. Good, we're all here. Our guests should be arriving shortly. The Regent Lord intends to show First Arcanist Thalysra our son well. I do not know if he will allow Illyria Windrunner to attend the meeting, but we are invited to join them. Extending the invitation, Regent Lord. Please, call me Lothamar. But where are my manners? Allow me to introduce another guest. Lady Illyria Windrunner, a hero of Silverwing's past. An unexpected honor, Lady Windrunner. Silverwing told me of your courage during the campaign on Argus. The honor is mine, First Arcanist. I do not mean to intrude upon your visit. Perhaps I should return another time. Nonsense. Whatever you came to say, you may say in front of our guests. As you wish. I come bearing an offer from High King Anduin Re I had hoped your visit was motivated by a love for Silvermoon. Instead, you've come at the behest of the Alliance's Boy King. How disappointing. Cutting words, Lord Thamar. Are they yours, I wonder? Or has the dutiful ranger I knew become the mouthpiece of your wardship? Doubt my words, yet how can we trust your own? Do you deny that the lords of the void whisper to you? Did you not surrender yourself to the shadows on Argus? It seems the offer I bring has been anticipated and spurned very well. But before I leave, I have one request. It has been a thousand years since I set eyes upon the Sunwell. May I visit it once again? against it. We cannot trust that she will not... Whatever she has become, Illyria is a daughter of Quel'Thalas. I will not deny her pilgrimage to our most sacred site. First Arcanist, you and your retinue will be welcome to join us. I would consider it an honor to see the sun well, Lord Thamar. And I prefer that my friends call me Thalysra. Bravo. Kindly open the way with us. Please, follow me. Away we go! Ah, oh, God, Lorthamar was just so mean right there, but yeah, anticipated. He knew what was coming. <laughs> Void things! Kill them!
stop healing. You cursed thing. Thank you for at least cleaning up your mess and fighting with us, Alaria. have the sun well. Accident or no, your presence poses a danger to Quel'Thalas. Go back to Stormwind. Silvermoon is no longer your home. I regret you had to witness that exchange, Callista. This is not how I planned your visit to unfold. On the contrary, this conflict has demonstrated your dedication to your people. I can see that the Horde has allowed you to uphold your traditions, something that is very important to us. We gain strength from our allies, but we have not lost who we are. Suramar will always be our home, but some among my people wish to venture out into the world to claim our place in Azeroth once again. To do that, the Horde offers that to you, First Alchemist. Join us. The gates of Silvermoon stand open to you. On behalf of the Nightborn, I accept your proposal. From this day forth, Suramar fights for the Horde. Excellent. Lady Liathi, please return to Orgrimmar and tell the War Chief the good news. It will be my pleasure, Regent Lord. I will meet you in Silvermoon. Champion. Yay! Excellent! Ah, oh, alas, poor Alaria. To the embassy! Oh, how dare you on your amber flat flap when I'm still trying to get mine. Mm. I say that to everyone that has a mount that I want still. How dare you! <laughs> Hello, Thalistra. How you doing there? I gotta get a picture. And we've got the panda in the- Greetings, Here we go. You return with good news. We will bring the Alliance to its knees. This is First Arc 
Arcanist Velisra of Suramar, an honor war chief. I have fought alongside both Lady Liadrin and the Regent Lord. Their courage is a credit to your horde. Indeed, First Arcanist. The horde embodies strength, determination, individuality, traits we shall Dora value as well. It is time for the Nightborn to find allies among the kingdoms of Azeroth. If you will have us, we would be proud to pledge our forces to your cause. For millennia, Suramar stood alone. This day, you become part of something greater. I accept your oath of service, Felisra. Suramar stands with the Horde. For the Horde! For the Horde! Yay! Another proud moment. Guys! Please tell me I was not the only one to perceive some sincerity when Sylvanas nodded and said, indeed, First Arcanist, when, when uh, she praised the, the courage and prowess of Liadrin and Lorthamar. Because Sylvanas did fight at their side, too. Thalassian pride. <laughs> Sylvanas does still very much love Quel'Thalas. I mean, she's really, she's really unabashed about her favoritism. Her favoritism goes to the Forsaken and to Quel'Thalas. Thank you, thank you very much for the cats. 